this year's RBC Canadian Open is looking a lot more Canadian. I really wanted to create a signature hole uh, with the Canadian Open here and um, we think we did a fantastic job with, with the branding and, and adding the boards to create the rink. The par 3 seventh hole has been transformed into the rink with hockey boards boxing in the tee area and lining the length of the hole, creating the feel of stepping into an arena. It actually came from uh, an executive director from Golf Saskatchewan uh, named Brian Lee. It seemed crazy at the time, but we talked about it in Golf Canada and then decided to run with it. High sticking. Yes, yeah. go get them. <laughs> the players have been uh, all about it. I mean, Pro-Am Day, we had uh, the hockey net out and, and uh, the Canadians were showing the, uh, the Americans and the international guys how to, how to shoot a hockey puck. Adding to the atmosphere are a penalty box, a Zamboni, and marshals wearing the stripes. I've uh, been around hockey most of my life, uh, coaching and playing, and so this was just uh, hey, my perfect hole as far as I'm concerned. The 16th hole at TPC Scottsdale, complete with stadium seating, is widely known as the loudest hole in golf. Players are booed if they miss the green and often feel the pressure to do something, anything, to please the gallery. Say he did so beautifully. It is hoped that the uniqueness of the rink will generate a similar buzz. All the great tournaments have signature holes, and uh, for us to create a, a condensed atmosphere like this, where uh, you know our fans can really hang out and spend the day, I think is really the intention. I don't think it'll ever become the TPC 16th hole, but uh, if it's even a quarter of that, I think we'd be over the moon. And if you believe in superstition, a lucky loony has been buried under the tee box. If it worked for Canada's hockey team, why not? Canadian golfers. We went along with that tradition and, and we buried one uh, at the seventh year at the rink, uh, hoping that we can get uh, a Canadian to win the Canadian Open this year. It's been close the last two years with the Trois and Hearn and uh, hopefully this is what pushes it over the edge. Obviously the tournament won't be won with a birdie on seven here on Sunday. However, a big putt could lead to some momentum for the eventual champion. Yeah. Shoots, he scores!